Who nanny? Who daddy? Who parents? Who the la? As somebody who's Japanese American and cooks Japanese food on a regular basis, I make dashi at least a few times a year. I love dashi. I love using dashi. But what I hate is making dashi and using the kombu to make the dashi maybe once or twice and then just throwing it away. It seems like such a waste. So finally, this last time I, or Shimpy, made dashi, I decided to figure out what I could do with that used kombu. Because it's perfectly good kombu. I happened upon this kombu skurani recipe from just one cookbook. It makes use of used kombu and it's the perfect kind of thing that we would enjoy over rice. It's pretty easy to make and if you're making dashi, you're probably making a lot of Japanese food anyways, so you'll probably have all of these ingredients on hand. Let's make this happen. Step one, use some dried kombu to make dashi. Now you have used kombu. Don't throw it away. Julienne your kombu into little strips and then put all of that in a pot. If you're making this on the same day that you made your dashi, then you can absolutely just reuse the pot that you made dashi in. Seed and slice a dried chili pepper and toss that in for a bit of spice. The recipe says to use a cup of water. However, we're not gonna be using all of the dashi that the dashi recipe made. So rather than just having leftover dashi sitting around, I'm gonna use that instead of water in this recipe. Add a tablespoon of cooking sake and a tablespoon of mirin. A teaspoon of rice vinegar will make your kombu more tender once it's cooked. Two tablespoons of shoyu, Japanese soy sauce, for flavor and umami. A teaspoon of sugar, although you can add more if you prefer a sweeter dish. In the recipe, she says to add a half teaspoon of katsuobushi, which are those shaved bonito flakes that we use for the dashi. I did not add this because I used dashi instead of water, but if you're just using water, you can definitely add this in. And also just a note, I am making a double batch because that's how much kombu I had left over from the dashi. So measure your kombu ahead of time. The recipe says two ounces. If you have more than two ounces, then you can double the recipe or triple it or quadruple it, whatever you need to do. Bring all of that to a boil and then simmer it just until almost all of the liquid is evaporated. This should take about 20, 25 minutes. Although if you're doubling or tripling the recipe, this will take a little bit longer. So just keep that in mind. When you are ready to serve, sprinkle it with just a little bit of sesame seeds and you can serve it with rice, you can serve it as a side dish with fish, tofu, any protein. It's delicious room temperature. You can eat it straight from the fridge. It's just the most Japanese side dish and we've been really enjoying it. This kombu skudani is really quite nice over a bowl of fresh cooked white rice. <laughs> <laughs> it's kombu tam, baby, or tasting tam. So what is the full name of the sauce? Awesome? Kombu skudani. Skudani. Do you know what's a skudani? Oh, and I didn't even mention in the beginning. I should have mentioned this. Yeah. Skudani is the way that it's cooked. Dishes that are called skudani are simmered, and they usually have this sort of shoyu, sake, you know, the same sort of um, broth, I guess you could call it. It gets simmered in usually for a long time. It's not always kombu. It could be meats. It could be veggies. But I this see. is actually the first time I've, I've heard the term. It's not a term that you commonly hear, at least not in the U.S. Nobody has ever go around. No, but like I've, I've heard <laughs> like okazu yeah, or like or yaki. Teriyaki. Mm -hmm. or what? What's the thing you told me the other day? Uh, uh, the one with the bird. Yakitori. Yakitori. Real Gold birds bird. or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So that's go chicken, mm -hmm. right? So. I've been doing Japanese on Duolingo. Yes. <laughs> and it taught me. Not only do I love this dish because it makes use of an ingredient mm. that I would previously have just thrown away, 
because everybody's always like, well, you use it for Dashi. That's that. Get rid of it. And it always seemed like such a waste, and now I know that it was. Yeah. Was a waste. To me, it's very Japanese. Mm -hmm. It's very, very Japanese. And the flavors, and it goes so perfectly with rice. I'm trying to remember the name of the type of meal, but you know the Japanese meals um, where pretty much you get a lot of side dishes. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of small dishes. It's, it's like a bento rice. box, but for bigger people, for, for adults. <laughs> for bigger people. <laughs> the, the thing about kombu, especially cooking it with the dashi, bonito flakes, all of that, without being fishy, it smells of the sea. Mm -hmm. And this really is just, it's very oceanic to me. Yes, is, there's no... There's absolutely fish no sauce, fishiness. Right? The, there's, bonito, there's bonito flakes. I oh mean, yeah, that... Cause dashi. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, you're you're really sweating the skin of the fish at that point, you know. If that makes any sense whatsoever, but if, <laughs> but yes, this is delicious. But yeah, I can you eat were it eating this. Rice you ate this itself. over rice with natto. Yes, and that is a beautiful combination. If you enjoy natto, yes, this would go well. I love that it's so easy to make too. Like it's just toss all the ingredients in a pot, cook yeah. it for a bit, and you know you don't have to waste. And it's the, not wasteful. Yeah, it makes exactly, me so happy. Exactly. It makes me so happy. I'm going to be making this probably every time I make dashi now. Yeah. It's so simple to make, like you said, but it took us like five hours because we're testing with a new gimbal. Somebody like, got a new toy. <laughs> we got a new and gimbal. So the half hour recipe. <laughs> yeah. So like, like some of the footage might be a little build. shaky because I have no <sighs> idea how to use it. And it's extremely heavy. I am so sore, my, my, both of this muscle, I don't know what it's called. Well, the pack is in front, right? But this is kind of like the chicken wing muscle. I call it the chicken wing sep. This is the chicken, chicken uh, tori sep. That's what I call it. I was in tori sep. Welcome to Japanese 101 with your boy, tori sep. So that, yeah, so that's where it, it's been just so sore. It just feels horrible. Yeah, because he's because been holding to, this yeah, thing. Yeah, I have to hold it, the gimbal kind of like this. But. We have some exciting new stuff coming soon, hopefully. We've so got new tuned. toys for reasons. Yes. Not just because they're new toys, but well, for reasons. But anyways, delicious. I'm going to go play with my gimbal right now. Wait, that's not... <laughs> that sounds dirty. That sounds wrong. <laughs> but anyways, you can come, come join me playing the gimbal in a bit, Austin. I did that all day yesterday. That sounds weird, too. Bye. As always, a huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters for helping this channel continue on. If you would like to become a supporter, just go to patreon.com slash sushi day. And if you are not yet subscribed to this channel on YouTube, you can hit that sub button or down here and like this video because it does help our channel grow. And if you would like to see the video for the dashi that Shrimpy made or all of the other videos that we've made, you can check them out right over there. Subscribe to play with my gimbal, please. Bye! Click me! None of this is weird at all. Quadruple roll is totally a word.